Hey there guys, this is Aaron, and uh, in this video I'm going to show you guys some of the differences between OS X or OS X, Snow Leopard, and Lion. So I've been using Lion preview number 4 for the last few days, or almost a week actually. And uh, it does provide kind of, kind of a different experience, but the user experience at the core is still the same. But uh, Apple claims there's over 250 new features. Um, I'm just going to go over the main ones that I think actually add to the Lion experience, because some of them, like... Uh, if you scroll to the top of something, it bounces back. I don't really count that as a feature, even though it is listed as one. Um, so yeah, let's take a look. So here we are in version 10.7, also known as Line, and this is preview number 4. So one of the first things I actually just noticed already is that QuickTime Player uh, now has a black box that covers part of the screen and I really don't like this because before it was in the menu bar where it was hidden but now it's blocking part of my screen so hopefully it doesn't record too because that would be bad but anyways let's close this Apple says there's over 250 new features I'm obviously only going to go over the core ones and that means things like mission control and launchpad and stuff so let's take a first look at launchpad and right away you can see that this is kind of like iOS and a lot of people actually do not like this because they think it's too much like iOS personally I think this is a great way of accessing all of your icons kind of like how uh, applications can be shortcutted to the desktop on uh, some, on Windows right so th except this is a great way of doing it because you don't actually have to fill your desktop as you can see my desktop is very clean but I can still access all of my icons and you can have as many pages as you want, but I wish it was more customizable. Just You can't remove everything, so you're going to have to dump it into a folder and throw it onto another page just to hide it. And if I want to organize everything by page, I'd like the option to make it bigger, just because if I have four icons on one page, I don't want them to be four in the corner. I would want four you know, centered and large, because this is, after all, a desktop environment. Why am I using these tiny icons? Um... Other than that, I, I don't think I'll find this very useful because I keep everything I need down in the dock. But for those that have docks that reach the edge of their screen being too full from icons, uh, this could be very, very useful. And it, all it takes is a pinch. You put three fingers down and you pinch and it shows this and you put three fingers down and you... Or, excuse me, three fingers and a thumb down and you pinch and it shows this. Three fingers and a thumb down and you spread to make it go back. So, what this means is that they actually changed a lot of the multi-touch gestures. So that's another difference between Lion and Snow Leopard. Three fingers up is no longer uh, page up or page down for three fingers down. And four fingers up is no longer reveal desktop and four fingers down is no longer expose. So as you guys just saw, three fingers down, pinch is launch pad, and then back is uh, to reveal back. And you can also do this, reveal the desktop by putting three fingers down and spreading when you are not in Launchpad. So just like the new uh, multi-touch in the iPad, if you guys have tried that, uh, you just put three or even four fingers down and then your thumb and you spread. So uh, what's become of the three fingers up and down? Well, three fingers up is now Mission Control. Three fingers down does absolutely nothing if you're not in Mission Control. Uh, four fingers up is also mission control, and four fingers down also does absolutely nothing. But, uh, one cool thing, uh, three fingers to the left and right switches between spaces. As you can see here, dashboard is now considered a space. And I absolutely hate this just because this is ugly, and before, when it was overlaid, you could look at numbers and punch them in while you're looking at the calculator. Now you're going to have to switch back and forth, so I do not like this, but... Who knows? Some people may find this useful. I absolutely am going to have a harder time entering numbers into this calculator just because it's in a different space now. So another difference, of course, is Mission Control, which integrates uh, spaces with Exposé. So right here, these up here are the spaces. I'm just going to open a few more windows so you guys can see. And then three fingers up, and there we go. So everything's spread out, sorted by program. And then you can even take a window and drag it into the corner to make a new space, or you can just hit that space to make a new space. And then you can actually drag that window into your new space and stuff like that. So, pretty neat. 
you just click the X to make it close, but the X isn't showing up. So, let's see. There we go. X, X, and it brings it all back, so it doesn't close anything. Um, I absolutely love this. I use expose and spaces a lot, and I think this is a much smoother way of moving between them without having to, you know, control left, control right, which is what I set my spaces to. So, great way of moving between your different windows and spaces and stuff like that. I love this a lot more than Exposé, and I loved Exposé already. Um, another cool thing is that you can actually, as I said before, just go right between everything with three fingers and swiping to the left or right. You can also do full screen apps, which will open a new space. So iTunes right here, you click that, and it goes into the next space itself. And it counts as one. So I could find this useful for photo booth or reading, but other than that, not much more. I guess if you're watching a full screen movie on iTunes, that might work, but you could already do that, right? So, you know, it, it's, I would call this a core feature, though. And you just hit that, and you it goes back. So another thing is that now you have uh, all my files, which I hate, just because why would I want all my sorted files that are in folders displayed in uh, you know this kind of mess, which is everything. So if I hit show all, it's going to show all 410 of my images, which, you know, I've already sorted these into folders. Why are you dumping everything into one thing? This means, like, the smallest, like, images I have are going to be thrown in with my important images and stuff like that. I just don't find this useful at all. You also have AirDrop, which lets you send a file to another person. Seems like a common sense thing that you would have had a long time ago since, you know, back then when you were on AIM sending a one gig file to someone and it took a few hours. But, um, yeah, definitely appreciate that this is here now. So you can just connect to someone with AirDrop and send them a folder. Also, now you have this thing called snapping. They call this a feature. I, I can just show this very quickly. There's no longer edges on the different uh, sides of things. You can just bounce. Yeah, this is a feature. <laughs> well, anyways, um, so I think those are pretty much the main like core features of uh, Lion. There's not that many more that I would say define the experience. You have other small things like encryption and uh, yeah, I don't know. There's, there's just a bunch of like tiny other things that you can do. But other than that, I, I would say these are the things that kind of really just define the experience. I do want to say one thing. Uh, when I first installed Lion, this was activated, scroll with finger direction. And this confused the hell out of me, just because, uh, let's go back to the... Okay, so I'm going to take two fingers and I'm going to move them down. Nothing's happening because it's actually scrolling up. So if I take two fingers and move them up, it's scrolling down. So the, this means the content is actually going to follow your fingers, and this is so confusing, just because it kind of goes against how everything has been done ever, and I don't see any reason to include this. So, you know, I was so confused. If you have this and you're confused too, let's go into System Preferences, scroll and, zoom, scroll and Zoom, and unclick Scroll with Finger Direction. That really confused me, but yeah. So, oh, it looks like Expose is still here. What if I swipe down with four fingers? Oh, okay, so I actually did not notice this at all. What if I open a bunch of stuff? Oh, okay, so I think this works between single apps only. So this isn't going to reveal everything, but this will reveal various versions of that one uh, app. So I have three Firefoxes open, and this is going to only go through those three. It's not going to show anything else. I'm not sure how useful that is just because... Uh, I don't know. I would rather go into mission control and yeah, you know. I if I can't see everything, why do I want to do that? I anyway, mean, I don't know. I think I'm going to turn that off. Where is that? Trackpad. More gestures. Turning app expose off. 
Okay, there we go. Well, anyways, those are kind of just the, you know, what I think defines Lion, because there's a bunch of smaller features, but I think those are kind of like updates to Snow Leopard, not really like, you know, oh, this is a whole new operating system. So those are kind of the things that I think changes the core user experience in uh, Lion from Snow Leopard. Oh, and if you notice my dock, no, that's not how the dock looks. I just changed that to look like that. If you want to know how to change it, this is actually the one that appears on the sides, if you've ever set it to the side, but if you want it down here, I actually have a video in my channel that shows you how to do it. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Those are the things that I think kind of make a difference in this version. So, yeah, that's it. And we are back. So uh, you guys have to remember that that was preview number four, so that's still not the final release. The final release comes out in July and will be available in the App Store, which is actually pretty cool because you don't need a disc or anything. It's $29.99. You just download it and you install it, which is awesome. Um, so keep in mind that there's still probably some tweaks that are going to be made. There's definitely probably not going to be new features just because they've already listed them and this is a preview, not exactly a beta. So um, at the core level, everything you saw in this preview will probably be pretty much the same when it's released in July. Uh, that being said, there could always be changes, so who knows. Uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this vi enjoyed this video, excuse me, and uh, thanks for watching.